Hey guys, it's Ekoman Sintelmer again and welcome back to my channel. So I'm really, really excited today because I just reached 30,000 subscribers and I wanted to say thank you to many of you for watching my content. It has been about two years and getting to 30,000 subscribers has been an amazing journey and I expect to, you know, to keep growing and actually bringing you a lot more content in the further weeks. So what I want to do today is I'm going to be showing you my analytics. I know a lot of you want to be creators as well. So showing what I've been doing over the last two years plus looking at some of the views and how my growth has been, you know, increasing over time, I think it's going to be, you know, helping any of the creators that I have in my channel or anybody new that wants to become also a YouTuber. So I'm going to be jumping into my computer. We're going to be looking at all numbers, how much I'm making over time, has, how has that income been growing over time, and what are some of the different revenue sources that I'm using to generate revenue with YouTube. So let's jump into my computer and I start looking at it. All right, guys, I'm really excited to show you some of the analytics that I have for my YouTube channel today. I thought that that will help you realize, you know, what it takes to, you know, to do well on YouTube. And so far, I've been doing it for two years. So the analytics that we're looking at right now is for the last 28 days. So really, really happy with the results. So far, I'm seeing 98,550 views in the last 30 days, which is, which is really good. And overall, everything, it's been going up. Like if I look at views, I'm getting more than, you know, 8.6 more than usual, which I'm seeing on the views. I'm also seeing watch time, which is also going up. The subscriber count, it's been going up like crazy. Like I'm getting, you know, about 1,400 on the subscriber count, which is, you know, how many subscribers I had in the last 28 days. And then the estimate revenue has also been going up. So something to consider we're looking at analytics. This is not always the case, right? Like I have months when things are not doing that well and I have other months when things do well. So, you know, this last month I've been producing a lot of content and I think a lot of quality content. So that has contributed to the growth. So. So far I have 30,189. I was gonna do a video when I hit 30,000, but I didn't know if people were gonna drop. So I waited a little bit until I had more than that. And then you can kind of see the growth in the view count. It just changed because this is a live count of the last 48 hours. So I like looking at that number as well. You can see some of my top videos. So as far as like top videos on the overview tab, you can see that my, some of the simpler videos like this one, Visual Studio Code setup, it's been doing really well. So this is 3,000 views and average duration is about 31%. AR Foundation, it's one of my most popular videos. So I've been doing really well on that. And also you're seeing, you know, the iPad Pro Leader Scanner has been doing well. I really enjoy doing that. And then, of course, some of my other videos like in VR, some of the setup on the XR Toolkit has been doing really well. So you can see the view count is 3,500, 2,200. And then it goes down to about 1,000. And like I said, this is the last 28 days. You can also see that my latest video is doing really well overall. I had 237 views. But to be honest, I don't really look much at the, you know, obviously you want to look at the latest video, but don't really try to look at the views every day. Otherwise, it's going to drive you a little bit crazy. <laughs> so that's the overview, you know, the overview uh, tab on this video on, on my dashboard. But if we go to the reach, you can kind of see the, you know, the overall reach that I'm getting on the video. So impressions, I'm getting 1.3 million impressions. That's what, you know, YouTube is giving to me in, you know, in different, in different ways, like channel pages, suggested videos, YouTube search, all of that contributes to how many impressions I'm getting on my YouTube videos. The, the impression click-through rate, it's really important because that's what people are using for you know, when they click on your video, there's got to be a reason why they're clicking on it. They, did they like the, the text on the video? Did they like the thumbnail? So I need to work on that. I'm getting about 3%. I think, I think YouTube is, is recommending, I think people get about 2% to, to 10% on the impression click-through rate, but I'm getting about 3%. So I know that I need to work on that. I'm down 5% over, over the last 28 days. The views, I'm also down 4% and I'm also, unique views, I'm getting a lot of new people. So that's about half the traffic that I'm getting on views. So that's actually pretty good. I'm getting half new and then half people that, you know, they know they know my channel already. So if I look at these right here, these are going to be the, the traffic source types, right? This is where I'm getting traffic. So I'm getting a lot of traffic from external and that's obviously... 
I know that because I am posting in Twitter, I'm posting in Instagram, I'm posting in my Facebook page, LinkedIn. So I'm trying to post in a lot of places as much as I can. And well, I shouldn't say as much as I can. I'm trying to be as consistent as I can, but you wanna make sure that you do that. Other, otherwise you won't really get a lot of traffic from external usage. YouTube search, I'm getting about 27% of YouTube search and channel pages, 7%, suggested video, 7% and then direct or known 6.2% and then others are going to be. You can also click on see more and it's going to give you a breakdown of other sites that are also sending traffic to your to your YouTube channel. In my case, I get you know other channels that are recommending my content. So other websites that are recommending my content. So that obviously is going to contribute to that. This pyramid here, which is upside down, is really helpful because it's kind of like the you know, where you're getting most, most of your traffic. So this is like the overall, right? So overall I'm getting about 1.3 million impressions. And then I wanna know, you know, how much of that is YouTube recommending. So you can see that I'm getting about 14.4% 14 14 of, of that traffic is from YouTube recommending my, my content. 3% of that is going to be the, the CTR, which in my case is, is about, yeah, it's 3%. And I need to improve that. Like I said, I need to you know, work on thumbnails and, and other things that could make my content stand out. The views from impression, 40,000 40, of those I'm getting, you know, if I, if I were to you know, get 4% or 5% or just a little improvement on that, it's going to drastically change how many impressions I'm getting on the views, right? Because more people click on it, more views that you're gonna get. Also, you wanna make sure that you're engaging your you're also your viewers. So in my case, I'm getting about two minutes in, 30, in 31 seconds. That's actually not that good, but I've been working towards, you know, making sure that I'm, that I'm you know, keeping people engaged. I am getting to the action right away. I'm not talking too much about things that people might not be interested on. So there's a lot of variables that go into that number and also obviously that number. And then watch time from impressions, 1.7 thousand hours. So that's, that's actually really, really good. And then if I look at other, so this one right here, it's gonna be the source type. So there's going to be a breakdown of like the, the traffic source types, but the traffic source external is also gives you a really good indicator of how, you know, how you're doing as far as like where traffic is really coming from. So Google search is contributing to most of my traffic. So I'm getting 85%. So this metric is really good. And, and the reason why I say that is because I was posting a lot in Reddit and I was posting a lot in other sites. So you can kind of see that Reddit is about 0.9% of my traffic. So you gotta think about, you know, where you're spending most of your time. So if Google search is, is sending traffic to my site and that's mainly most of my percentage, maybe I don't need to spend a lot of time in Reddit or maybe I don't need to spend a lot of time in Facebook. So that's a small number, but at the same time, it can help you growth. In my case, I've been doing less posting in Reddit I'm doing more posting in Facebook and I can kind of see that by looking at these numbers. So Google search is helping me. So that means that I have, you know, my keywords, my titles are correct. I have, you know, I'm, I'm putting tags, I'm putting some of the keywords in the description. I have things that people are looking for. So this is really good indicator of how that's doing. Playlists, you know, this tells me where people are spending most of the time. So AR Foundation, obviously, because that's, that's basically my main topic in the channel and then XR and some of the Oculus Quest visual, visual effects graph is one that I spend a lot of time on too. So this is really no surprise that those are gonna be the ones that do the best. And then this is also really cool because it tells me, you know, what videos are suggesting, you know, suggesting my content. So some of these ones are mine, but you know, if I look at see more, I might be able to see some other videos that are not mine that are also you know, suggesting my content. And by looking in here, I don't really, oh, okay. Like this one right here, I know that they're suggesting my content. It's not mine because that doesn't look like my title. So if I look at it, I can see that this is a different channel, different, you know, different video that I didn't post it. So that video is suggesting my content. And then if I, you know, if I pay attention to some of these, there might be another one in there as well. So I would look at that to see where some of the suggested videos some of your, some of that traffic is coming from suggested videos. And then this is also really cool. Like if you want to know, you know, where the traffic is coming from as far as like what search they're doing. So keywords are really important. So I know that those are some of the ones that I'm spending a lot of time researching. So AR Foundation, Unity Mars, 
unity ray tracing that's going to be some of those so overall the reach is really good i mean i'm growing and some of them are going down so i could look at you know what why why these are going down so just look at those metrics those are really helpful and then engagement right so this is one of the bigger biggest factors for youtube you want to make sure that you're keeping people engaged obviously the the average view duration didn't go up on the on the last 28 days and, and that's okay i mean I, I know that i need to improve on that and also the watch time went down and that could be you know contributed to different things maybe my videos are too long maybe you know i'm not engaging people as much because i i didn't get to the action right away you know there's just a lot of different things so this one tells you which one people people are engaging the most, what how much time they're spending on different videos. So obviously this one, Unity 3D Visual Studio Code setup. This one people need to watch for the most part because if they don't watch it, they won't be able to set it up. So a lot of videos that where you're doing setup configuration, they're gonna be doing a lot better than other videos where I'm doing experimentation that people might not need to see it all. They just might get to the part where where you know there's action and and it's cool. So, you know, this is really helpful. Two videos by end of the screen. So these are videos where, you know, people are going to the end and then they're actually looking at the end screen. So this is really helpful as well. Top playlist, AR foundation tutorials, top end screen element types. So videos are the ones that I put at the end of the video. So that tells me. I also put playlists because I want to know, I want to push people to different playlists. And I'm also telling people to subscribe. So that's a really small percent. So. I mean, this is, you know, this is obviously, obviously going to happen because not everybody is going to be subscribing. And then some of the top cards that I put in the videos. So this is really good. Let's go into audience now. So as far as audience, this is really good. Like I can see the unique views, 43,000, average views per viewer, okay, and getting about 2.2. And then subscriber count keeps going up. And I get a lot of questions about why this goes up. And, you know, to be honest, I don't really buy subscribers. People think that I buy subscribers. I don't buy subscribers. What I do to get that number up is I post in different social media outlets. So when people ask me, Dilmer, why are you growing a subscriber count so fast? The reason for that is because I am telling people to subscribe. I go to LinkedIn and I tell people, hey, subscribe if you can, if you appreciate the content. So I've been seeing a lot of growth on this number because of all the posting that I'm doing in other social media. So. Make sure that you do that and just, you know, be moderate about it. Do it in places where, you know, it's fair. Like, you don't want to start bombarding other social medias because that might damage the subscriber account. People might just unsubscribe and say, you know what? I don't like that content and I'm going to unsubscribe versus, you know, trying to engage people in social medias that actually make sense. So when your viewers are on YouTube, this is something new that they added. So this is helpful for me because I know that if I post a video around seven i know that more likely my my viewers are going to be in youtube versus you know if i do it at 12 a.m where everybody sleeps so the lighter the color the less people that are going to be in it the darker the color the you know more people are going to be in it so i know that from six to twelve is going to be good if you do it in the middle middle it's going to be better right because i get more people in there subscriber bell notifications this is also really good and I'm getting about 9.9.8 percent of my subscribers that are actually, you know, that actually have that bell notification turned on. YouTube says that a typical on YouTube is 10 to 30 percent. I'm a little bit lower than that in the last 28 days, so I need to work on that numbers. So this is really a good indicator of how many people are interested in your content, as far as you know, all your subscribers, right? This is another one that I get questions. I was talking to another YouTuber the other day. And this is really good, right? Like this tells you how many people are actually subscribed to you that are watching your content versus what are not subscribed to you. So subscribe to me is 22%. So I have a big, you know, a big opportunity to actually reach to people that are not subscribed. So that's 77% of the people that watch my content were, were not subscribed. So I know that I could actually try to engage those people to get more subscribers into my channel. And this number is also an indicator of how many people are males versus female. And I mean, this is no surprise because um, I, a lot of the people that, I, that, I'm, that I'm talking to in the comments, I notice that they're males. So this gives you an idea of, you know, the interests, the demographics that are actually watching your content. And this also tells you, you know, about the age. So 18 to 24, I'm getting about 
and most of the people that watch my channel are going to be from 25 to 34 years old. And then, you know, it goes, it goes down if I go up in age. Language as well, you know, things that uh, I, have, I have titles, subtitles on, so 96% of my content, I don't have sub, subtitles. And then English is gonna be 3.7%. Spanish is a very small number. This is because I started doing Spanish videos when I started the channel. And in top countries, United States, of course, India, Germany, so that, that's a really good number as well. So let's go ahead and look at revenue because I'm, I know that a lot of you might be interested in that. I get questions, Dilmer, do you make a lot of money in YouTube? And the answer to that is, I don't make a lot of money in YouTube, but it's actually doing well. I mean, I wasn't making money before, so this also helps me in getting you know new equipment, like if I need a new light, if I get a new camera, if I, obviously with that money, I can't really get a new camera, but it really helps, you know, in using that towards the channel. Like if I need to get, you know, something for my, an accessory for my camera, if I need to get, you know, a down payment on a new phone. So obviously that's going to help you with that. In here I had a big jump and I'm not really sure why that is such a big jump. We'll be looking at that number in just, in just a second. But I think that jump, oh, looks like that contributed to, so these Uni, Unity Mars examples, that was a new, you know, a new component that Unity released. So that one has been contributing to, to my earnings and I didn't really realize it's gonna be that much. So that could be that Unity is bidding on the ads in they're really high and I don't know, I, that's contributing to my earnings. But so far I have, you know, in the last 20 days, 317, that's the highest that I ever gotten. So if you look at monthly estimated revenue, let's go ahead and take a look at that. This is a number that I look at over time, right? Like at the beginning, it might not be much, but if you look at the, the payments, the growth from July, July was $259 and then 262 to 46, started to go down. And then I think it started to pick up or actually it's, it's, it's just been going down for some reason. But if you look at that number, let's see, so 259, 262, 246, 210, and then it's just been going down and down and down until we hit the new month, which, which, is, which is July $26. And if we look at the numbers, I'm surprised by that number because if I look at that, this tab right here, it actually looks, yeah, I think it's going down. So 259 and then I'm getting 269. So I think it's staying on average on about $200 every month. And then revenue sources, this is also really interesting because it tells me, okay, most of my revenue is coming from ads. And that is, you know, that is because most of, most of it is from views but I'm actually getting a lot of transaction revenue from memberships and I'm gonna show you what that is in a minute. And then YouTube, you know, premium revenue, that's gonna be anybody that is using YouTube premium, they just get put into a different bucket. And this transaction revenue is actually people that are subscribing to me via membership. So let me go ahead and finish up here and I'm gonna show you what that is. So top earnings, like I said, is gonna be, you know, your top earning videos. Unity 3D XR player controller that's basically generating a lot of, about $18 in the last 28 days. The point cloud that I did with the iPad Pro, $7, and then so on. And like I said, this one is the one that is doing most of, most of the earning. And then ad types, you can see what ad types people, you're getting most of your revenue. It's skippable video ads, that's going to be the majority of them because that's gonna be the default. Display ads and bumper ads, that's also giving me 6% on display ads and then bumper ads is about 5.7% and then some other ones. So this one is really helpful here, like your transaction revenue. Like if I look at channel membership, it's about $125. And this is something new that the, the YouTube also added not too long ago. So if I look at monetization and once you become eligible, you know, to monetize your channel, which you're gonna need about a thousand subscribers and certain amount of view hours, then you're gonna have, you know, you're gonna be able to sell merchandise, you're gonna be able to sell, to have memberships. So a lot of my, my revenue right now is coming from memberships. So these are people that wanna support me. So I charge for, you know, about $2.99 for anybody that wants to support me. Just, and that can help me with, you know, like I said, with, the, with different things in the channel. But these are people that wanna know what I'm doing behind the scenes. These are people that I'm gonna be putting in the credits. This is exclusive content that I'm sending to, to different subscribers. Connecting tier, these are people that want to talk to me if, via chat, via Discord, or they want to just have a phone call with me. And this one is gonna be the same thing, consultation tier. It's going to be people that you know, wanna to talk to me over the phone. 
and I give them more time just because they're paying, they're paying more. So this is going to contribute to revenue as well. So, so far we're looking at about, you know, $300 every month that I'm doing on, you know, on monetization in YouTube. So if we go back to analytics, that's basically a summary of looking at overview, reach, engagement, audience, and revenue. So let's go ahead and look at the last year because I think I, I like looking at these over time, right? You don't want to look at these in just the last 20 days because that really doesn't give you uh, a good picture of how you're doing. I've been doing YouTube for about two years. So one year, I think it's me a good, a good picture. So overall, I'm going up and, and that's what I want to see, right? Like I want to see a trend of things going up. I don't know what happened here. I think YouTube has issues during those times, but this is a good trend. I know that my channel is growing, so that's good. So let's go ahead and look at watch time. Same thing with watch time. It's been going up. So you want to look at that and, you know, make sure that that trend is going up. And if it goes down, like I said, don't really get paranoid with it. This is, you know, it's something that is an indication that you might be, you might need to look at different content. You might need to improve on something that you're doing during your video processing. And then subscriber count is just, you know, cons consistently growing. And this is actually a good trend. It actually doesn't go up, but I'm staying consistent in how many subscribers I'm getting every day. And then the estimated revenue, this has just been going up and this is also a good indicator. So let's go ahead and look at reach, right? So reach about 14 million views in the last 365 days. So I like how that's doing the imp impression click through rate. Like, let me actually go back to this one. This is a good number. So this is going to tell you, you know, over a year, you're about 300% over the, pre you know, from the previous year. So that's actually a really good number. If you look at this percentage as well, I know that I've been improving the CTR. So you want to improve that because if you improve the CTR, that's going to improve how many views you get because people are clicking more. So when I was looking at that number in the last 20 days, 28 days, it was, uh, uh, this number was going down. So over a year it's going up. So that's a good indicator. And again, on the views, I'm getting about 1 million views. So that's 275%. You know, that's more than double versus the previous year. So let's go ahead and take a look at engagement. So if I look at engagement, watch time, again, 300% over the previous year. And then the average view duration is also up 7%. So I've been doing better over the last 365 days. If I look at audience, my audience has been growing up. I'm about, you know, 57% growth on the subscri subscriber count. So that's actually really good. So let's say that I had about 10,000 subscribers the you know the previous year so this means that i had about 57 percent so roughly i don't know about 40 43,000, maybe 47,000, uh, 4700 subscriber increase over you know the next year so this is really good that's a really good indicator that i'm getting a lot more subscribers and then revenue again this is going to be going up so about 2300 dollars in the last 365 days Obviously you can't really pay your mortgage or, or your bills with that, but it's going to help you, right? It's going to help you improve your channel. And then, you know, some of these other metrics. So that's everything in, you know, in YouTube and how I'm doing YouTube as far as like how much I do on a monthly basis. So $300, that's, that's actually pretty good. And I want to say thank you to a lot of you for helping me get there. And then that's not all the money that I'm making, you know, I make from YouTube. Obviously, I, I, you want to look for other sources. So I also have Patreon and I wanted to show you how I'm doing Patreon over the last year. So this is actually incredibly have increased. So August 2018, I was doing about $88 a month. Then September, $159. December, $336. March, about $838. And then right now I'm making about $1,000 a month. So if you look at these numbers, this is something that is really going to drastically going to help you, you know, become somebody that is doing this full time. Right now, $1,000 plus the $300, about, you know, $1,300. Obviously, I can't really do YouTube full time, but I'm getting in that, you know, it's, it's going up. It's going in a good trend to a point where I'm going to be able to do that. So I'm really happy with, with Patreon and the reason why this is going up too is because, you know, I started it, I, I didn't, I started it here and I wasn't posting as much, started posting more, more. I, I added more tiers where, um, you know, I'm, I'm doing consultation for people. So obviously if I'm doing more of those things that have actually have a higher dollar value, like my consultation is about a hundred dollars. So if I get two or three people a month 
that are doing consult I'm doing consultations, so that's going to contribute to this number. So Patreon is helping me. So like I said, we have about $1,300 so far. And another source of revenue that I've been using, it's the Unity Affiliates program. And this is something that I did, you know, from the very beginning. Um, I'm doing, you know, I'm posting assets in the description of my videos. So I don't do a lot of money here, but it really helps, right? Like if I look at, let's go ahead and look at the last, let's look at the last 38 day, 30 days. And I'm going to save. So if I look at the last three days, it's going to show you how many people are clicking on those. So I'm getting about 886 clicks, you know, in the last 38 days versus the current, you know, the previous 38 days versus the current 30 days. So 750. So on average, about 700. So that's actually pretty good. And as far as like revenue, this is not a lot of money, but it's going to contribute to the, you know, to your overall income, right? Like this is $27, $27 just for posting a couple of links that I am referring, you know, Unity assets to in my, in my content. So $27 is actually pretty good. It's something that I, it doesn't really take too long. And all I'm really doing is, you know, putting, you know, a link to different assets in the asset store. Overall, right now I have about $69 that I could withdraw. I just haven't really touched that money. I could do it now if I wanted to. But, you know, this is just other ways that you can find to make money in YouTube. So roughly about $1,400 that I'm making from YouTube. The other source of revenue that is actually contributing a lot for what I'm doing is going to be my new learning platform, which is called LearnXR. And what I'm gonna do, what I'm doing for that is I'm using Podia. So if I go to Podia, this is a big, this is the biggest source of revenue. And if I go into my dashboard, you're gonna see how much I'm making on this. So when I launched my, when I launched my training, I was making about two to three sales a day. And each, you know, each course is about $300. So if you do the math, that's, that's actually really good, right? And if I look at revenue over, you know, over time right now, it's about $7,000. And this is actually doing really, really good because I have monthly subscriptions where people can just subscribe, subscribe to this and do three payments. So it's actually not a monthly subscription, it's a payment plan. So if they wanna get one of my courses, they can buy it in three different payments. So that actually really helps. Let me go ahead and look at, I think it's going to be easier if I go to Stripe and show you how, how my Stripe account does. I'm gonna go into my Stripe account and go ahead and log in. Let's give it a second here. And we can look at the last, let's go ahead and look at the last 12 months. So last 12 months is about $8,000. It's actually really, really good. But this did well when, it re when I released the course and then after the time, it just starts to die off because I haven't been marketing this as much. But if I look at, let's go ahead and look at perhaps the last three months. So last three months still do, doing really good. That's, you know, about a thousand a month, a little bit more than that. If I look at the last four weeks, that's $277. And like, like I said, that's because I haven't been promoting the content as much, but that still is going to add up to, you know, the revenue that you're making in the channel. So overall, I'm really happy and I'm, I really appreciate you guys, you know, following along. And I'm about 30,000 subscribers almost, you know, to, to a point where I think it's going to, it's going to generate enough revenue for me to do a lot more with the revenue that I'm making. So like I said, thank you very much for watching. I've been using a lot of revenue to improve the equipment and, and I hope if you want to become a creator, some of these statistics are going to help you grow and get an idea of what to expect over, you know, overall when you, when you launch your own channel. Thank you very much, guys.